special day today, folks. We got the Ford Raptor. This is the giveaway one. I'm sure Mike has gone in depth on everything that this thing has to offer, so I'll spare you of that. But we have another vehicle on the agenda today that we're gonna be taking a look at. One I actually think might be a little bit cooler. Okay, little, little design flaw. Do not back up with the windows down, I guess, when it's raining, because the body on this thing is sloped in, so I guess Ford didn't compensate on these for uh, rain to come in because everything is soaked. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I guess there are problems with the Bronco too, just real issues with um, drainage and stuff like that with the, because they don't have a frame going around the window. Um, so it's, they have a lot of leakage issues. I heard some recalls on specific roof types, so we'll see. But if you guys want to win this Ford Raptor, I promise it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the water coming in here, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but just insane how it, this isn't that old of a vehicle and we still have issues like that. Anyway, InChainDesigns.com times 15 entry, times 15 entries right now to win this beautiful machine, the true V8 Raptor, the only one to exist currently. We'll see if the uh, the new Raptor is coming out. Going to have a V8 engine in them. But yeah, buy anything from the link down in the description, and you guys are automatically entered to win this amazing, amazing off-road rig. 6.2 liter V8 engine, original Raptor, and this one is in immaculate condition was actually something that I was going to buy instead of the ZR2 until uh, it came along. And it was like, you know what? No one's done a build on the ZR2 yet, so I decided to go that direction. But this was uh, this was the second pick. Hershey Park. It was actually really cool growing up near this uh, amusement park, theme park, whatever you want to call it. Um, I graduated. They had the ceremony in the big giant center over here. It's home to like our local, uh, whatever it is. Like the It's not professional NHL. It's the AAA or whatever hockey team, minor leagues. I remember driving down through here as a kid. All through Hershey Park, you go right up next to all the roller coasters, see and all this crazy stuff, the smell of the chocolate factory, chocolate world, and just being near a tourist destination in such a small town, uh, it was pretty cool. And now for this to be my daily commute where I drive by here because I'm headed to Whitmore to check out the uh, the new truck, it's just, it's so surreal. Like this is my office for the day. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the managers, man. I appreciate you guys letting me have this opportunity to have such a beautiful view. The brown roller coaster that we passed, that's called Candemonium, I think. That's the newest one. And then we have Skyrush right here. This one is terrifying because you don't have shoulder restraints. It's only on your lap and you fly. I think it's the fastest roller coaster in the park. That is the Comet. Uh, it's the first roller coaster ever built at the theme park. I'm gonna give you guys like a history lesson. I didn't really mean to do this, but that roller coaster is over a hundred years old and was the first one, like I mentioned, to be built here. There's a blue one down there called the Super Duper Looper, uh, which was, I think, the first looping roller coaster on the East Coast. Cops up here, so it's gonna be a little difficult to vlog. Derry Township's not very forgiving, but the black roller coaster right here is called the Great Bear, the best roller coaster of all time. So much fun. We have the Coal Cracker right there, a little log plume ride and uh, then just a bunch of rides back there. The original two towers here for, the, there's like the cooling towers for the original chocolate factory. We're now in downtown Hershey, and this is where the famous street lamps are where you have the, uh, the Hershey Kisses on top. Some are unwrapped, some are wrapped. Yeah, just beautiful down here. One of our favorite restaurants, Hula Hands. We got Devon Seafood. I'm, I'm just giving you guys this weird tour of Hershey because I've always loved it here. It's just, it's sort of a getaway from Harrisburg, which isn't so nice because you have the Susquehanna where the city's right there on the river. It looks good from a distance and then you get in it. It's like, ah, oh, man, this just, the city's not in good shape. But Hershey, on the other hand, although expensive, definitely the place to be. Well, I wanted you guys to hear the exhaust at full acceleration. I was going to give you some pulls, but it's raining out and we all know what happens whenever you give it the beans in the rain. <laughs> Dirty Max the chat boys, so sad. Out here at Whitmore, Chevy got the Raptor, like I said, drove that down here. Goes beautiful with this brand new, brand new Chevy Colorado ZR2. And the thing that's special about this is it's the Bison variant, which is so sick. I don't know if they made a ton of these. Um, I'm sure it's just limited to how many they can sell. It's not like an actual limitation on what this is, but Chevy actually partnered with AEV. I tried to partner with them, like be like, hey man, I would love to promote some of your products because they make aftermarket products for these things. Um, I don't know if this one has the snorkel kit. It doesn't. So this thing doesn't have every option. Yeah, these come with a super badass little snorkel kick that gets running right here. It actually has like a cutout diagram, I think on the inside of here, that makes it easier for the manufacturer to install these. So window sticker price here, MSRP, you guys know all about these. I'm not gonna go over stuff you guys probably already know, because if you're interested in these, I'm sure you've done your research. So mine MSRP for I think around $42,000, $41,000. And this one is going for $54,000. And what you get with this, as far as I know, we'll start from the front and then go to the back. Nothing too different on the front here. They have the same headlights. Um, it looks like there's some black inlay that wasn't on mine. That was like chromed out on mine. So that's a little bit different. You have a nice steel bumper in the front here that has some texture paint on it. Just a little bit of extra protection there. But if you run into something like I did. Oh, God. I 
What was that? You're not gonna get the extensive damage. And what's also really cool is these front fins on this are way more narrow. So there's a lot of customization into this that just makes this thing stand out. It's totally different than the ZR2 that I have. They have these huge, huge fender flares on this thing for some reason. I think that looks really stupid. Uh, but yeah, that's just one of the drawbacks, I guess, because everything else is definitely an upgrade so far. Uh, the grill's a little bit different, and I don't think that these ever come with the stock, uh, or they, they're always aftermarket, where they have the ember lights in here. Um, that's always like an aftermarket part that I've seen. Another upgrade that you have here that comes standard with these AV Bisons is these new wheels here, which is really cool because AV is everywhere. Anywhere that you would normally see ZR2 on these trucks, it's gonna say AEV. Just like on the interior here, on my truck, it says ZR2 on the headrest, which I think is so cool. They have AEV with a bison next to it. I love those little extra details. They have it down here on the floor mats, which mine did not come standard with these. It's actually pretty depressing to see how clean my truck once was because this is the same exact interior minus the headrest here and uh, just how brand new it was and how mine is a little bit dirty after the punishment that we put it through. Big uh, rock sliders, just like on my truck. And I think on the front mine has a pretty big skid plate on the front this one does as well but it's blacked out and i'm sure coated with something you have your tow hooks under here you're still maintaining the dssv multimatic shocks that come standard on all the zr2 the back rack here which is funny enough i think you can get these on uh any like if you wanted these on any chevy colorado you could get them from the manufacturer but what's cool about these or the one on mine is it says zr2 here on this one it just says colorado so it's sort of weird that they have the standard one that you would get for any chevy colorado on the zr2 variant Back here, I remember, I've never seen one of these up close, but I know on the back bumper, uh, this is steel as well. So if you bump into something, you're gonna be protected and safe. Uh, they have some big hookups here. And then I didn't know that you were gonna have such big rock slider uh, that come the whole way down. And I'm assuming hook up into the frame. Yep, they come down here and there's a mounting bracket underneath. I'm trying to get you guys a better camera angle, but that's pretty cool because that would have saved my truck whenever I took damage here. And I think the only damage, like, so if I would have had a bison, my front end would have been saved because this took a huge chunk right in here, unless it would have dipped into where the fog light is. Pretty cool that it does have fog lights though. And then damage on the door. So this would have, this would have been the only damage that mine would have sustained was right here on the door. Everything else would have been protected by the bison upgrades. It's disappointing how those little things can just save you thousands and thousands of dollars. They may cost you a lot up front, but if you're gonna be wheeling, it's definitely gonna save you in the long run. The CR2 sticker here, just like mine, but also has the bison beneath. And then what's funny is in the back here, uh, I have a the tire rack at home um, whenever I bought the truck. Just never had it installed because I never wanted to drill into the bed because obviously you have a short bed here already. And then to do that, you're really gonna limit your bed space. So I do have that, just don't have the spare tire or it hooked up, but it does look pretty freaking cool. It's sort of like the Ram TRX and some other truck manufacturers where they have it where it sits pretty low. So you don't really get to see it. I mean, this essentially is for looks unless you can't fit your spare tire because you have aftermarkets on that are bigger than what go under here. And what's funny enough, this one doesn't have the spare tire hooked up. Obviously, they're not gonna give you freaking six tires, um, but it's up here in the back on mine. It's located underneath and it's not the correct size because the 31's a spare and I'm rocking 33's currently on that build. So with this, uh, it looks super cool. I love how it seems like it has a little bit more black accents than my truck for some reason. I don't know why, maybe it's just the tan makes them stand out more in these huge beefy fender flares. Love on the ZR2's how they have like that little bit wider hips and kick outs. It's pretty cool here how the fender flare has to get eaten away by the, uh, the cast cap, it's awesome. This is not the diesel one, as you can tell. It's funny how they always have these little caps here because like this is where your DEF will go uh, if you had the diesel variant. You guys already have seen me drive a ZR2 a million times now, so I'm not gonna take this thing off the block, around the block or anything like that. It already, it only has 10 miles on it. So I'm just gonna back it up here next to the Raptor uh, because I don't wanna put any more miles on this thing and just, I, I don't know, it feels like I'm ruining someone's, this is gonna be their prized possession one day definitely do not want to do that as far as i can tell there's nothing crazy done on the inside here with component wise like to beef it up um, on mine it's it's the same way uh that bison doesn't add anything to beef up the axles or anything like that it would be kind of cool if you could somehow retrofit like 3500 or 2500 axles on this thing just to make it so you never had a risk of ripping or tearing something snapping a tie rod any of that crap i know in this one they do have upgraded skip plates like i mentioned before these run the whole way back underneath the vehicle they go back here, if you guys can see, go the whole way back past the gas tank, and I think they even have something underneath the underneath the pumpkin in the back. The rear differential is completely encased in a really nice skip plate. They have shock guards in front of those, all steel on the bottom here. So definitely a ton of protection underneath this rig, which mine definitely could have used when we were at Roush Creek. It's so sad because I miss how tight the steering feels. Like this feels so tight. Uh, this is all brand new. It's not scratched up for my pups. One thing I wanna ask you guys is going forward, um, how many times have we said, hey, we can get something new 
and the ZR2 I don't think is worn out its welcome yet. Well, what if we did the ZR2 Bison? And I don't know, man, for $54,000, I'm, I'm probably just going to be real with you guys. Uh, this isn't this isn't in the cards just because my truck is better than this one now at this point with the money I put into it and, and the stuff that's uh, been done to it upgrade wise for off-roading. The lift kit, the wheels and tires are, are better than this uh, even though they have the little upgraded AEV that are on it. It might be damaged but it is wrapped just to protect what's left of the paints. I mean it's just the door panel and the back rear fender or the back rear bedside that is damaged so not a big deal. We have a steel bumper on the way. I think after that aside from skid plate coverage we're set like we're on par with what this thing is factory and the ground clearance alone on mine versus this it's going to be able to outperform it pretty much every day of the week but still very cool it would have been cool to start it off with this and then put the mods i have on my zr2 onto this truck that would have been insane big shout out to whitmar for letting me use this truck for the day just do a little tour i wanted to switch things up for you guys because the channel's been pretty high speed lately with just the drama and weirdness i've taken a different uh route i guess you can say from my regular content of just off-roading and doing the truck build um and some people aren't too hip with it because it's a little weird, I, I get it. So we're gonna try and fade away from that drama and, and just get back to our roots. It's gonna get a lot less views, but it doesn't matter. You gotta keep the core fans happy. So let's get back with the ZR2 content, back to our the homestead here, ZR2 off-roading. I'm so down, but maybe one day the ZR2 Bison will be in the cards. Maybe we'll wait a couple years and just see what Chevy can cook up because uh, yeah, I'm excited. They killed it with the ZR2. Let's see what they can do in the future.